way. So a little background, um, before I started my troop leaderish career, is several years ago, I was new, um, never been a Girl Scout before, never been a leader, never seen a meeting in action. So being a first time was very overwhelming. And I was like, where do I start? What do I do? And I'm an admin professional. Um, and so I created forms. Whatever form needed to be done, I created it uh, from using simple Word documents, just putting things together. And that's what I started off with, and that's what I did. I created a leader binder. The leader binder and its forms and inserts have been the test of time to be one and true. I might have changed the font, I might have changed the color, I might have added pictures, but the format has always stood the same. Um, I've always maybe added a new form because something else was additional. And so instead of looking for that particular item on the net, internet or on the web, I just created a form or a document, put a border on it, called it mine and stuck it in my binder. <laughs> so I want to just go over my leader binder with you and um, its contents and the forms that I have made. Um, you might have something similar. You might have created or conjured or printed or found um, a leader binder of all sorts for yourself. So. Are these all new leaders? Uh, no, I have some head shaking now. I have some new leaders. All questions to the end, Ms. Katrina? Oh, sorry. sorry, my bad. <laughs> <sighs> Here's the front. My front, as you can see, it has always been the same. Nothing has changed about it but the year and the number and the level, which has probably, probably been always the same, but this has always been like the forefront of my leader binder or my planner. Um, and inside my leader binder, well, this is real, so I'm going to show you a mock-up one. I don't want personal information to be displayed. <laughs> Bam, is inside here. I started off with a binder, a pencil pouch, and dividers. Every single thing I've added was something I created or something that I got off and I printed and I kept it in here and it just stood there. So I have my pencil pouch, of course, we'll keep your stationery, your pens and your pencils in there. This is a business card, um, I don't know what you call it, holder insert. I found this to be very useful because down there is where I keep my training records. These small little handy dandy things that get lost fit perfectly in my business binder, my business card holder. So Great idea. as a troop leader, you will find that either you collect business cards, and you need somewhere to hold them, you know, find um, the business card holder at your stationery store. You can, you know, buy packs of them and whatnot. So this is kind of really nice to have. Uh, inside here, I have a calendar. Get a school calendar. Get a council calendar. Know when school's in session, not in session. Know when council is open and closed. We do observe a lot of major holidays and additional days off that um, are not, you know, a part of like a regular schedule. Uh, so having a calendar, you know, uh, is very useful. So you can print one out and mine, as you see, has circles and dates all over it because I put my troops stuff on there at a glance. Thinking of a calendar, I created my own calendar. This calendar, I don't know if you can see this. Is there such a bad glare? I'm really sorry. Is there a bad glare? Yes? No? Uh, oh, if you, wait, if what you, was the question? Is there a bad glare? Can, um, sort of. Okay. We can still see it. Can can't see what the, box, the contents are. Oops. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here is my basic calendar I created on Word. There's nothing fancy. It's just add a shape, add the months, add the content in it. It's back in front. It has all the months. And at the end of the year, 
you clear out the contents, you still have your same calendar. Handwrite it, type it, it's there for you. On the bottom, I added space so you can put um, event stuff information. So this is a form that I have created. Very simple. It's just three square type shapes on a Word document. Nothing fancy. A leader information page. Who are my leaders? When's their birthday? Where do they live? Uh, I just created this simple. Again, everything was done on Word. So this can be handwritten. It can be typed in there. I make copies of black and white. A lot of the forms I created were in black and white just to keep cost and printing down. Once you start printing in color, you are racking up your, you know, your, your, your ink and you're wrapping up um, your, your finances if you go and make them copy. So, I mean, it looks pretty if you add a bunch of color and you make it all jazzy, but realistically, it's not gonna look pretty when you have to scribble and write and put inactive, write moved, write a bunch of addi additional stuff on here. So just keep it simple. And I have a service unit contacts page. Who is my service unit people? Who's my manager? Who is my cookie person or my fall product? They might be all different people. So having this form and filling it out yearly will help me throughout the rest of my year. I need to have and email somebody, I can automatically just go to my page and get my contact information. This avoids me from logging into any type of computer, phone, email, looking for a particular person. I have that all right here. Oops, hold on, let me skip to my binder here. And then I have the scout information page. This holds everybody's information, their address, their email, grade, date of birth. Um, again, as you see, uh, you know, it's, it goes through changes. So it's just very basic and generic. Um, I have one for scouts. I have one for daisies. I have, I mean, daisies, brownies, juniors, etc. They all have their own page. I can take this put in a PDF and send it to my other trip leaders if they need to do and have information as well. If you're doing pen pals, I have all the information already. If we are doing mailings or cards or birthdays, I have everything all together. So um, just by creating a simple blank template year after year, it's updated. As you can see, lots of changes <laughs> happens, you know. Christina, I have a quick question on that because I do like that idea. Is yes. there an easier way to get the girls' information without going to each one individually? Um, like, is there a way to just get everybody's information printed out on one sheet? Yeah. So, so in the beginning, this is blank, and to the first meeting, the parents fill it all up. So they hand they print on it, and sometimes the original stays. And then I just go and I type it all up and it's just there. Um, okay, that's an awesome idea then. <laughs> so I do have, you know, the blank one is at the, at the, you know, at your first parents meeting, they fill in all this business, you have it right there. And then, you know, you can keep that or you can print it or, you know, you can, however, you, however you'd like to, to, to manage it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. I have a I question. <laughs> I also created an attendance and dues form. Uh, it's very simple, very empty, very basic. Girls go here, dates go up there, little A for absent, a little money sign if they collected money, and I just add it to the bottom. Um, this, you know, has is always changing. There's apparently the picture changes. Like I said, these forms are very simple and basic, but that's what I need it to be. I don't need to spend a lot of time, I don't need to spend a lot of money, and I certainly don't need to spend a lot of, you know, of my, my resources on getting fancy printed, you know, type of information that I need. <laughs> this will be scribbled on, written on, changed on, so I need it to be, be generic. I'm planning
planning my meetings? What do I need? What badges am I working on? What material do I need? So I created a very simple badge worksheet. It has introduction. It has, oh, this is a, my meetings one. But it has like an announcement, calendar, and just little sections I can fill out, hand write, so that way I can get those ideas off. I have a plan for my meeting. I know what I'm doing. Where is my... And so like that was the meeting one, but here is like an actual kind of meeting in the worksheet that I created. And I put a time allowance here. I put my closing stuff. And so this gets, you know, written on, you can type it up, you can hand write it up, uh, make lots of copies and put them away. So when I'm going to my meeting, I have it already planned out. Here's my additional notes. So usually what goes on in my notes section will get transferred over to my minutes meeting. Oops, wrong form, sorry. <laughs> my meeting form, and this is what gets sent out to parents. Uh, what happened at that meeting, it's all written here. You can send it to your parents. You can, you know, you, I, I'm a hard copy person, so I like hard copy items. It's just easier to reference back to, it's easier to make notes on, and it's easier for me to gather at the end of the year what happened, what worked, what didn't work. Oh. And as the year went by, I realized I needed to know people's t-shirt information. Yes. <laughs> You're ordering for your troop, you need to know what size they wear. Have your parents, you know, create a little simple form with just t-shirt information. Have your parents fill it out. Uh, you never know when you're going to need to know t-shirt information instead of calling everyone, texting everyone. You know, you might have a large troop and you might just need to know how many smalls you need, how many larges you need. Your t-shirt information is right there. Or it could be sock information or, or type of clothes information, maybe a vest. Maybe you're going to buy new vests for your girls for bridging. You need to know their size for their vest. So this can also be changed to put like your vest for bridging or t-shirt size. So there's, you know, that form. So nothing fancy, just really simple. And my troop does a community service of collecting cans and coats. Well, how many cans and coats did I collect? I just created a community service page. It helps me put the girl's information here, tally it up. I have our little record. Uh, so if we were going to do any special incentives or anything, I have a community service kind of record. So these additional sheets that were created as time went by, and I just kept adding to my leader binder. But they're basic. They're very simple, very easy to use, and very manageable. At the end of the year, you clear out all the information, you have your same form documents. You're not constantly you know, uh, buying new leader binders, new planners, new additional things. Um, and at the end of the year, I just clear out the whole binder, rubber band it together, and file it away. And then, you know, you're back to square one again. So that's in my leader binder. Well, there you go. <laughs> um, so when you're, so another little thing to help me keep organized is an investment of a tablet. I have a seven inch, very simple, basic tablet. Why do I have a tablet to keep me organized? Because when you're at your meeting or you have a parent that needs to sign up for something, their phone doesn't work, they had no access on their internet, they used up all their data, you can have your parents sign up for events at meetings right then and there. You can have them sign DocuSign. Mm -hmm. right then there. You can have them, um, you know, if you're using VTK and you're not looking at your little five inch phone, you have your VTK there. You can always pair your, your um, tablet to your hotspot on your phone and you'll have internet wherever you're at if you know how to do that. So a good investment for me to stay organized is just having this here. Um, having it available for, you know, um, for parents. If you're using VTK to track your attendance, 
you have to give this to a parent and they can just log in and they can do it right then and there. It's not too big, it's not clunky, and it probably costs like 35 bucks because tablets are kind of like inexpensive now. Nothing fancy, it's right here. <laughs> Things are not on here strictly for true business. <laughs> you need to pull up an email, it's available for you right right then and there. So this is a, a little candy little tool I like to keep myself to stay organized uh, in today's world. It's digital but not too digital. So this Christina, is my little... Yes. You have a couple of uh, questions. Um, oh. Elizabeth said, would you be able to share those documents with us in an email? Yes. For five dollars eat no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 and then would you rec so that was a yes on that yes I can <laughs> thank you Christina and would you recommend having it set up by each girl um, what were the tabs in the leader binder oh my tabs in my leader binder was whoops. I just have it by and I put everything in the little plastic sleeves because I can use a marker and write on it so if I need to do an update instead of writing on paper. But anyway, um, I have them by uh, one by each. Um, I used to see my binders change throughout the time. So I used to have it by level. I have three levels, but now I'll be having four levels. <laughs> so I put them all in their own section. So I put all the daisies together, all the brownies together, all the juniors together. When that gets to be two, then all the daisies will have daisy petals. Daisy attendance, Daisy, um, Daisy contacts, um, and if you have because if you have your meetings at different times or different days, if you jumble it all up together, you might get like shuffling through too much paper. So by separating by the levels, I'm able to okay here a parent or maybe a, a junior wants to do attendance. Here you go. Here's my binder. Here's the attendance log. They're all in there. So I just sort it by level. So the daisies have their own level or their own tab, et cetera. So, and my binder is only, I'm going to measure it. It is two inches. It has never gotten bigger than two inches. It cannot be any smaller than two inches. Um, if, if you just have the basics in your binder, you will never need to go bigger than two inches. However, if you're a really huge troop, you know, maybe you got like 17 daisies, maybe a binder for each level would be recommended. I don't got that many. I got like a handful, you know, less than, less than a, a dozen, a baker's dozen. So <laughs> I'm going to keep them all in one binder. But um, a good two inch binder are, you know, is recommended because this can still go into my, my bag. It's not too heavy. It, it probably weighs about three pounds. <laughs> uh, you had another question. It said, are you keeping, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back up. Are you keeping documents such as meeting minutes and attendance for personal use or are they required to be filed for a certain number of years? Personal use. Uh, you like to see, I like to review what worked and what didn't work. Um, uh, you know, if something is a parent a good idea for that meeting I write it in there and maybe it can be incorporated for next time being multi-level you'll probably have to repeat a badge or a meeting at one time you know if you did a brownie bugs badge and your new daisies you got a new you already got your brownie bugs badge already formula laid out so by keeping them for me it's me for like next year so I just I just keep them for personal for personal reference it just helps me to so I'm not recreating or reinventing the wheel when I've already done it last year. It's already done. There's already materials list. There's some pros and cons. So I'm good. <laughs> and then Yasma says, we have 40 girls. Do you recommend we have one uh, or, for all or each separate binders? Well, do you have different leaders for each level? Are they all the same day, the some different days? Yes, different leaders. Per level. Different leaders. Oh, same meeting day. Same meeting day, 40 girls. Well, you can have the, an identical binder 
like all the same basic information split into th or make three copies so that each level will have their own information but will have all of the troops information so i found that if i separated my daisies and here's my daisy leader and i separated my brownies and here's my brownie leader and they go off on their merry way maybe the daisy will now need something from the brownie but they don't have that information by just making two more copies just so that they can have everybody has the same information uh, but that troop level that big i mean if that person is managing that daisy level they can have their own daisy brand, uh, binder but also have the context for the brownies the context for the juniors etc i mean it's just just contacts. I mean, I think I stick six contacts on one page, double-sided, that's 12. One paper, maybe five pages at the most you're gonna have for like a huge troop. I mean, I don't find that to be very big, a lot of paper, so. Yeah, uh, 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 I have I have 52 girls in my troop and I my leaders, the level leaders, just kind of do whatever they want with their binders. <laughs> I'm like, it's you organize how you want, but, um, but definitely the health histories you for sure in each binder for the girls that are in their troop, but because we each have yeah. different organizational styles for sure. So <laughs> there is no way. Yeah. Um, so what works for me it might not work for you, but, uh, uh, you know, it could, it could help. I'm not yep. <laughs> and then Josie said she loves the tablet idea, which I do too. Um, it's a fantastic idea. Thank you. <laughs> Small investment, but let me tell you, there's no reason somebody cannot say I couldn't find the DocuSign because my phone was too small or my kid had my phone for five hours and wouldn't let me get on it. <laughs> I've heard it. <laughs> that is true. Here's your tablet, pass it along. They need to do background check. Bam, here you go. Get it done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I know today everybody has access to use their phones, but if you're trying to fill out anything, you know, you're constantly having to scroll or zoom in, you type the wrong name, number or letter, it's going to be a big difference. And just that little tablet to be able to travel to, you know, to do those type of items would be beneficial. You know, it's really helpful. I found it helpful, so. There you uh, go. <laughs> yep, yeah, no, the, it comes in handy with registration. I even do an Excel sheet with their dues and we just open it up, type in who did their dues, easy. Yeah, so um, there you go. So my next thing was finances. I'm just gonna do a brief <laughs> overview of finances on how I stay organized in this financial world. <laughs> Going Perfect. To Back to my wonderful handy dandy shelf. <laughs> I have this awesome, wonderful cardboard magazine holder. And inside here, I have this wonderful accordion style letter size thing. Your, if your uh, bank statements come in the mail, they come in this size. This size fits in this size. <laughs> you don't wanna deal with it for right now at the very moment, you can take that whole envelope and put it in your organizer and you have them all there. They're all, oops, let me get that in there, together. Inside you also have the receipts because it has several pockets. I have my receipts in here. So by just keeping in here for right now as a placeholder will allow me when it comes time to do my finances to just grab this and you know, lay them all out, sort them, catalog them, Put them all together. If you need to collect receipts and another parent has something, you can take this to your meetings and just shove stuff in there. Take it back home, you know, manage and fiddle, fiddle, fiddle with it, and you you don't have to like do a bunch of like who collected this, where did this go? It's kind of like right here. Um, but what do you do with all of those receipts? How do I how do I take care of them? Lovely paper, printed receipts. I take down all of my receipts and all of them have like a header. If I collected cookie dues or cookie money, I put on there on the top um, what it was and who it was. So at the end of my year, 
I have everything taped down because guess what? All those receipts are going to be needing to be scanned over. And if I just take the time right now to tape them on a piece of paper, when I have to scan them, they'll be ready to go. So at the end of the year, I take the receipts, put them in date order, and start taping them down. Then when I have to match up the receipt with the bank statement, it's already there in like a paper format. So, um, but there's also apps that you can download on your phone uh, called, hold on, what was it called? Scannable, that will let you take a picture and will turn it into a PDF file and will, you can email it to yourself. So there's lots of ways that you can keep your receipts um, either like in a handy dandy, you know, little organ, uh, little accordion file, or you can download an app to take a picture of your receipt, turns it into a PDF, and emails it. And you can probably put a title to that receipt. Um, and that'll be a good way of keeping all your receipts in one place. They're not loose. In case it was loose, you now have a digital copy of it. You know, um, so that's, and then when at times you print it, if you're going to submit these um, online, you can probably link up all the documents, submit one whole form via online. Uh, so that's very, very simple, but it can be time consuming depending on how many receipts you have. And if you collect troop dues and if you, your cookie dollar or your cookie receipts and your bank receipts, um, they're small, they're little, <laughs> start taping them. <laughs> this is, this is how I found to be the sanity of true financials. And in my little box, I just put additional things in here, like my short and snappy true financials. I have a printout. Yay. So, so I just shove all of my things in a designated area. So when it comes time to work on these, I have them kind of all in one place. You know, so, um, this is what I found to be helpful, just so that it's just kind of there in one, one all together thing. Okay. So, to help me stay organized in a, what, I mean, no questions for me? Are we okay with the questions? Uh, they were just wondering when financials were due, which is June 30th, and, um, Basically, probably because the the how you are organizing, um, I mean, is absolutely amazing. So they they just need to know that your receipts have to have to match your bank statements every single month. And so you just use those bank statements to kind of I just highlight, you know, uh, like my receipts that I have, and then I kind of uh, I just ask all the leaders like hey are you I'm missing uh, this receipt you know? <laughs> no but you will put all of those receipts into a spreadsheet and then that's due on June 30th yeah so even if you have like a parent you know you have a whole gaggle of receipts you need to take down give them to a parent to do here's a here's a roll of tape start taping them down for me these small little things that you can assign to other parents during a troop meeting is nice because as long as you have that there and you have you can bring it back you're already halfway with your process i mean it doesn't seem to be a lot but when you start taking you know 50 receipts throughout a whole year at one time very time consuming but if you have like a stack you go every meeting maybe a designated parent or your treasurer or your finance person can just take down receipts in chronological order you can always add you can always add a page in there and add more receipts so <laughs> that's the that's the, the beauty of it um for for me that is because i will have to scan all those so i need to put them on paper anyway right i don't want to take a picture download the picture to my email print the email that's just a lot of work <laughs> and um, somebody says do you delegate um responsibilities like finances to somebody else within your troop Yes and no. They will do the receipts parts as another co-leader does it. We'll help with it, manage it, sort it, get it all prepped together, and then together uh, do it well. Now we're not together, but I guess in an ideal world, we sat together and did them together. In a, I guess like in today's not so ideal world, I guess you have to be sola chola and do them by yourself. So. <laughs> <laughs> You can Zoom meeting somebody, I guess, and talk about it, but 
<laughs> We're talking a traditional kind of like not so different environment that these uh, these tactics work. <laughs> um, so uh, when it comes down to how do I stay organized on a car trip or events, how do I keep the papers together? How do I know who's my first aider? How do I well who has the first aid kit? Who's got what doing what? Pulling from my handy dandy little shelf, I created troop bags. So one's my first aid bag. It's red. We all associate red with first aid kind of. It's out there. If somebody's walking and you're in a group somewhere and you need the designated first aid person, they know it's right here. Um, and here you can, you know, you put in your first aid stuff. You put in the health history. You could put in your health history forms. You can put in, you know, your stuff for first aid for an adult to carry. This one is blue. I associate blue with leaders. So perhaps the leader is, or the adult in charge is going on a trip and they also need to know where first aid is. So here is my blue leader bag. Here is my folder with all my health history forms in it. Here is my traveling first aid kit. So when you're in your car and you have maybe different uh, persons driving, you can put the car driver list in here. You can put your maps in here. And so a backpack or a bag can go with each car that will have the information all in one place. It don't have to be this fancy. It doesn't have to be personalized. <laughs> I love that. It could, it could be a black plain old Jan Sport backpack, it can have unicorns, whatever. Um, but designate just for your troop its own backpack. If you start taking from your traveling, you know, stuff, you're always going to be shuffling things in and out of it. Just have a designated one, you always have it available. It's not where is it, who has it, who I lent it out to, what kid borrowed it, <laughs> who shoved some gym stuff in it. You just have your very own troop kind of um, bag for your cars, and then the car one goes, you know, on your event. So, and not too big because the bigger it is, the more you stub in it, the more it's going to be heavy. So, <laughs> this is just big enough to hold um, what do you call this eight and a half by 11 um, little folder? So, so this is how I stay organized on events in car rides. You know, just a designated backpack with some very basic first aid, who has bandages, this person, go there. Because um, if you ever take your kids or on a hike or somewhere, they are constantly, who at work, you know, I need a band-aid, I need a band-aid. Maybe you're not the first aider, but another parent is, you automatically direct them, hey, you see this? Or you, you know, you see that designated person, that's first aider your point of contact, etc. So that's how I stay organized for cars and trips and events. So little uh, bags, color, color specific, I guess. <laughs> I love that. So we're wondering about like how I stay organized with forms. Oh my goodness, I have all these papers. I have all this Extras. <laughs> Fully from my handy dandy shelf, I have quite a heavy little folder. And inside my folder has manila folders. And inside all manila folders are all council forms, health history forms, parent troop uh, agreement forms, driver forms. Whatever form that council has on their website was printed at one time and put in here. Now this has changed a lot. This will get changed every year and upgraded and updated. But by having the forms already available for me there, if I need a form that we maybe are introducing a new person, I don't need to log onto my computer, set up my printer, look for the form and print it. I already have a copy here, a blank copy. I can grab and go, take it with me. Um, maybe, you know, you have, uh, some addition and then you know also in here I have like promise and law copies I have you know I put like the months or maybe there's special papers for you know an activity for that month 
Um, there are some pre-activity, some coloring pages. So this just kind of gets, you know, updated yearly, kind of heavy. Um, but you can use a basket. I use one of those Dollar Tree baskets, held the same size, held the same amount of paper, held the same amount of file folders. So um, it doesn't have to be this particular style. It's, it's okay to have a bra. You can even use a shoe box. You know, somebody wears a size 12 shoe, grab that shoe box, cut it in half, put your file folders in there, put some contact paper on it, cover that Nike logo, you're good. <laughs> but when it also comes down to forms, I need forms to take with me at my meetings. I can't be toting that thing around. That's heavy. I cannot be rolling it around with everything. So I have took in my leader binder forms and I put them in this clear plastic all together thing. It has just these uh, dividers with pockets in it. And so I have blank copies of my leader of my leader binder. So I can always grab these and take them with me for my meetings and go with me instead of taking all of that huge forms. It's kind of like a stationary set. This is my grab and go, you know, I'm, I'm going to a meeting type set. This blue one I have is for council forms health history forms, troop agreement forms. So that way I know to like update, you know, specific, my specific folder. I also put on here like, where does my pin go? Here you go. <laughs> I have it for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Parents will ask that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in here, you know, a guide to my VTK, I got a new parent, whatever, I make a couple of copies, I just shove these in here. So I just kind of use this as like my council grab and go little folder and basically was my leader binder forms, blank copies. So like I said, everything started off empty. You just can, you can type it and be fancy. So <laughs> strictly up to you. Okay. So um, I'm going to talk about how I get organized for my meeting for my badge in a bag, does council have service units? Yes, we have service units. We all have service units. We're all assigned to service units <laughs> for our region specific. Anyway, that's not organized. So I'll go and jump back into it. Right now, it is porch pickup is seems to be the trend of everything. You know, uh, put together your, ba your badge packet, et cetera. It's gonna go on a porch. This is my designated porch pickup tote. It's labeled, it's kind of big, and it, it has a handle, and you can also put a lock on it if I chose to. This is used probably all year long for random things. Right now, it's holding our badge pickup, this, and it's big enough to hold these 10 by 13 folders. This way, you can put in here for your scouts if you are doing work, you know, and you want no contact list pickup. This came in handy when it came to cookie time and they needed to pick up some cookie materials, their order forms and whatnot, and they had an odd schedule. You put it in here, say, hey, porch pickup, they know where to go. They're not looking around in the bushes. They are not <laughs> trying to find something that's not theirs. And you can also find out who's picked up and who hasn't picked up. So having this designated tote is really awesome. It is waterproof, it's plastic, and you can take it with you if you are doing another, uh, say, porch pickup, not at your house, but maybe at someone else's house. Just take this, bring it to somebody else's house, they can drop it back off at your house. So having a designated porch pickup is also key and ideal to staying organized. So the thing now is to do badges. Right, you prep your badge for your gals. And I created badge in a bag, my version of it. These handy dandy little bags came three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. It has a handle, it has a Ziploc. I can put my badge in a bag and all my materials in here. If I'm going to a meeting and I have doing a brownie badge, here's everything I'm doing. I'm taking it to a leader. Here you go, leader. Here's what you got to do. All the materials are in here. This is actually 
uh, the size enough to fit inside my porch pickup bag. Maybe someone missed a meeting and they need to catch up. Here you go. Here's your badge stuff. Now that person can go and do their badge activities and it's all put together. Um, doing and creating a little badge in a bag helps you kind of know exactly what to bring and what not to bring. You're only going to focus on this is what you're going to grab. So um, this is this is an awesome little place to or awesome little tip and trick for staying organized for badges because working on badges you will have lots of everything and anything. So there you go, badge in a bag for to staying organized. <laughs> What's also in these fabulous bags is a bridging kit. How many times have you had to go look for rainbow specific decorations that weren't available and you don't know where you put them? Bridging will happen almost yearly or every other year depending on your troop. I created a bridging bag. I just have in here, you know, decorative items that I found since certain months hold specials and sales for rainbow uh, decorative items. So might as well take advantage of that and think ahead and put together a bridging bag. Uh, mine just has like, you know, crepe paper and, you know, uh, tablecloths that are polka dot with, you know, the rainbows. Um, and back here I would put like the, what do you call it, the certificates and stuff. So if you're going to do a bridging ceremony somewhere, here you go. Here's my bridging bag. I'm taking it with me and it's all together in one place. I have at the end of the day, I put it all back. You can sort out your materials, restock it, put it in your shelf or wherever your designated command center is for your troop and call it a day. So having, thinking foresight of, you know, gathering your materials, like I said, certain months have certain rainbow affiliated, you, you know, um, decorations on sale, take advantage of it. So here we go. Great ideas, Christina. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, one of my favorite organizing thing is picture frames. I have three designated picture frames. Why do I have three designated picture frames? Because they are used, one, to just as a mini traveling display board. Right here I have my Girl Scout on promise. Bam. It's going to be set up on the table. You know, all the girls who don't know it can read it. It's kind of big. Oh, if you can see it, there you go, etc. My second one is for seasonal information. My nuts and my cookies, some basic things, maybe some information on here to put it out at my meetings. This way I'm not repeating myself constantly the same thing. You can put your deadline, you can put your, you know, your websites, put these out. You know, have them already on display so that, you know, if grandma came one day, she can just take a picture of this. So the other one is for uh, promotional. Like I said, we do um, fundraisers and different events. So this is just a display of the activities that we're doing. Hey, we're doing one warm coat collection. Hey, we're doing the canned food box collection. And you can change these for whatever you need. But to have three designated, well, to me, three is my magic number. Uh, this way, if I need to post an announcement, maybe I need to um, use this as a whiteboard, put a white piece of paper and a whiteboard marker, and now I've got myself a, a whiteboard for the meeting. So, have, and this is glass, um, so be careful when traveling or packing these things. And three very simple eight by eight and a half by 11 uh, picture frames can be very useful in your organizing. So these are nice little, what I like, they get changed. So some things will never change, like the promise of law. <laughs> you might wanna jazz it up one year, who knows, but very basic, but very big, informational, everybody could read it. <laughs> so those are, this, these help me keep, help me stay organized. A message, phone message book. I know these seem outdated. However, I love my message book. If I am going to spend a day and I need to make contacts and calls, 
I can write, you know, if I left a message, I can write, if I had a message on my phone, I can transfer it to my phone message thing and remove that message off my phone three months down the line. So I really like keeping a phone message book to jot down all of the phone messages, your phone calls, your, you know, your things that you're doing, you know, all in one place. That way you can reflect and look back at what did they say? What was that phone number? What was that website? You can use it as a giant notebook when you're online. Maybe you found a website to go to, you know, so, and you have all these random pieces of uh, sticky notes everywhere. This is my version of sticky notes in one. <laughs> so to save, I just have, and if you, this has a carbon copy. So if I need to give that sticky note to someone else, I can just rip it off and give it. And I still have the carbon copy behind it. So I still have the information here. So this is a really good tool that I find useful to staying organized and keeping all of my random thoughts, your, your instant moments, you're like, hey, that's a good idea. I just stick it in here. So then you can, you know, go back on your phone message book. How am I doing on time? Am I okay on time? <laughs> you're at 6.50 right now. Okay. You're doing fantastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so my last thing, is my meeting on the go rolling tote. Um, it is actually a sewing machine caddy <laughs> uh, bag that has been repurposed to be my grab and go meeting tote. It has wheels. I don't know if you can, well. Oh. So here it is. It's pretty big. And inside here it is nice big pockets. And in my grab and go meeting, on my pocket I have uh, cleaning supplies, cleaner, paper towels, hand wipes, etc. This is in one pocket. I will need eventually my first aid kit to go with me on my meetings. I have a designated first aid kit separate from my other first aid kit for my meetings. This way it's always part of my meeting bag and I'm not transferring one stuff to another. So by just having the simple first aid kit automatically in my bag, it's there. I do have a front pocket and my front pocket I hold tablecloths. Minor plants are that vinyl because you never know what kind of what you're going to be doing. And this way you can just wipe it up with your um, cleaner and your paper towels. You can have cloth if you like, no big deal, but here's some designated uh, tablecloths. And what's in here that's just basic, I have a roll of aprons for kids that just stay there because who knows what the activity is going to be. can be messy, can be out in the dirt, who knows. Um, maybe somebody just got back from a recital and made the meeting, don't want to mess up their dress. Here's some um, aprons. I also have some board games that are kind of like, you know, you need those pre-meeting things. This is a giant tic-tac-toe. So I found these at Target, you know, in those random little bins. So here's one for checkers. So they have, and these are really flimsy. They're made out of felt. You could probably make your own out of felt, those crafty people some felt and felt and blew it. There you go, you got yourself a tic-tac-toe board. So some type of pre-activity or activity for those meetings that haven't started yet. It keeps the girls engaged, gets them to work it together, kind of calms them down a little. There's some pre-game activities. And inside is another little caddy that fits so perfectly inside my rolling tote or my sewing, my sewing bag tote. In here has uh, envelopes right here. Who knows, maybe we'll be working on a card or, or a letter or you need to mail something out. I have index cards. You never know when you might need to get some information or down. Song books, various song books. So you got some downtime, here's a song book. Give it to a parent, teach them a song for 10 minutes. Who knows? <laughs> but in here I keep are the simple crafting, or not crafting, but meaning supplies. My pack of crayons. I have too many girls to have one pair of crayons for each person, so I designated the buddy system in my crayons. I slap on an address label, write two girls' names on there. They now have to share their crayons. They also need to respect people's property 
not bite the crayons, not chew the crayons, not tear the crayons up. So by sharing these crayons and putting two random people together, they are, you know, learning to engage in making friends, helping share, etc. Because I'm only going to carry enough supplies that I need that's going to fit. If I carry supplies for every single person, that can be a huge, huge tote. <laughs> Okay, I like to recycle whatever I have. So this is a can. It's not decorative or fancy Like my other can. Hello. How you doing upgrade? <laughs> so I got me some simple uh, If you have the kind of can opener that takes the whole lid off There's no sharp edges on on your can. So I have that kind of can opener and I have glue sticks in here Check your glue sticks Make sure the caps are on. Make sure they work and not dried out for the next time you're going out gluing. <laughs> and inside my caddy, it fits perfectly four cans. So I have two cans of glue sticks, one can of pencils, one manual sharpener because those pencils can break and you don't have time to go look for a sharpener. <laughs> So you see these on sale when it comes to school supply time? Grab a few, put them inside your meaning stuff. And then scissors, just, you know, the little small uh, tomato sauce can holds my scissors. So inside this one little caddy, I have just the basics of a meeting that I'm comfortable with. Um, and I'm not gonna, and you know, during the end of the year, of course you check your supplies, you restock it accordingly. You know, you might've had 10 packs of crayons, you now have enough for like six packs of crayons. <laughs> so this is just, you know, you can take it if you're on a table, take it out, take it to a table, take it to wherever, sitting in a, on the park, etc. So these are uh, wonderful things. So I have pencils and extra packs of pens, um, it has additional pockets. I actually have play money in here. Don't ask me why. I just maybe will need to play money someday and have a craft or activity. So I have these little paper play money packets. Just simple things for your meeting that are kind of basic and necessary. I want that Lakeshore tote. That's what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> So my rolling toe is big enough to put my, my uh, picture frames. It's big enough to put my badge in a bag. And I can seal it up and I can go. Um, you know, you know having people have the bigger crate ones, people have like a wagon one. So there's a variety of ways that you can tote your stuff in. This just happened to be a sewing machine one with pockets and it's perfect. <laughs> so if you find one on sale at your store, grab it because you can use it even if you don't own a sewing machine but you're a leader and you need some organization, make use of it. And mine has handy dandy handles right here so I can like pick it up, work out my arms here, get the muscles. <laughs> and it has a handle to, you know, to roll it around places. So this is my command center of keeping organized and staying it all together. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you found some things to be useful. Um, if you have any additional tips and tricks, go ahead and say them out loud right now. <laughs> you guys wanna take off your mute button? Josie said that she was looking at for crowns and uh, that was a great idea. Um, I love that buddy idea. Katrina said in your first in first aid kit you guys can add some well you leaders can add some um, sanitary napkins for the girls which is a great idea especially with if you have older girls or cadets. Absolutely like that idea. Um, they also work for good bandage. I have one thing true. to share. Yes. Um, I love your leader binder. There's a few things I want to add to mine. Um, but as the years have gone on, I've added, um, so I keep this on the front of my binder. 
and I've just got each girl's initials and I write down what badge we do and then mark off if they were there and it makes it really easy to go back and order the badges when it's time. I actually have that. Where is my actual? I'm all organized. Yeah, something like that too. <laughs> so like on the top of my, um, of mine, I actually wrote the badge we worked on that month on the top. So I can okay. Okay. say who, who was there for that month. And that's why I kind of yeah. the badge in a bag because some girl or someone's going to say they didn't complete it. Here you go. Here's all your instructions. You know, have some parent supervision help. <laughs> I love that. So when you, when you email uh, the forms out, if Cynthia doesn't mind replying all and adding that to <laughs> back to everybody. Yeah, that's no problem. Let's start sharing our forms. <laughs> well, those are just my basic forms. So I have the ones that have the border on it. They're green. They're like, you know, like my fancy ones. But the ones that I keep in my, you know, my stacks back here are just simple. Black and white. They don't have to be colored. They don't have to be fancy. I just need them to print. Printing on your printer, your, if you do the math on how much your ink per page is, you probably got maybe 200 black and white, maybe 100 color. And if you do the math sometimes, if it's like $15 a cartridge, it's like seven cents a page. So I'm always thinking of how much I have to print and how I can get that print cheaper. So black and white's cheaper. <laughs> If you sign up for what Office Max, Office Depot, their rewards, you get coupons like discounts on the printing too, or the copies. Yes, and um, I think uh, FedEx might have something also like that too. If you if you kind of like let them know, like, hey, I'm a leader, you know, they say, oh, the first fifty sets are free, or fifty prints are free. You're like, okay, <laughs> you're printing everything for fifty that are fifty quantity for free. Just go to different times to different people and get the same discount. <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions or um, tips that they would like to add? So do you have a different binder for camping? I do have a different binder for camping and in that binder, um, I'd have to take like a quick minute to grab it, but I will say it does have all camping related badges it does have the same type of attendance and tracker and you know additional forms just for camping your training manuals or how to not type stuff um, but since right now that's not in use I didn't show it apologies but I do have a separate camping binder and that gets updated too but it's got an awesome checklist in it. It has a um, camp that has over the years added, you know, to my checklist, but it pretty much, like I said, these forms were created, you know, several years ago back there. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> over time, or they've added over time or been in color over time, who knows, but the format and the structure, it's the same. If you just have the, if you can go and buy, leader planners or troop scout planners on you know etsy or amazon and they might have the exact same things but maybe not specifically what you need and now you need to add to it so now that you have a book now you have to also create a binder so if you just take that same idea and kind of merge it by having a binder you can add stuff to it um but if you like to go and knock your socks off they have a whole bunch on amazon you know books <laughs> So you can do that, um, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good job. Um, I would like to say if you have older girls, um, I, like Elizabeth was talking about, I do do the tabs for my troop for each of the girls just to keep track of all of their community service hours and all of their badges. So for the older girls, especially when you're when they're, they're getting up there, they have to have um, 20 community service hours, 20 hours working with Girl Scouts, and then their torch awards. So to keep track of all that, I, I usually have a tab in the leader binder for each of the girls as well. Um, What's considered older girl? Older, older ambassador, girl. senior? Uh, could, it starts with cadets. Cadets, seniors, and ambassadors, uh, uh, they have to have their 20 hours of community service. 
as well. And then you can also keep track for for the bronze award if you want, if you want to start it for the the younger girls also. Um, I think a question came in is about badge work, right? What was it? Hold on. Let's see. Got it. See it pop up. Uh, when girls don't show up at meetings, do you give them the information to finish a badge at home or do they miss their chance? Uh, that's if they request, like I said, the handy dandy badge in a bag. Here you go. Finish it. <laughs> um, but now um, our troop has decided to create badge workbooks. And so the badge workbook is an at home activity. And so I think going forward, um, the troop has decided to utilize our badge workbooks, create enough badge workbooks. Can you, can you? If they miss it, they can take the badge workbook at home. Um, we also uh, created a Google Classroom to upload those type of forms. So that way um, they can be do it yourself. If you, you know, invite your troop like a classroom and you can upload assignments, which are, you know, like maybe badges. Lots of councils out there right now. Lots of different places are hosting uh, fun patches, a series, you know, like, um, so for me, that's a lot of paper to print. And if they didn't or weren't interested in it, they have the option now to either print it at home. It's like five pages, you know, it, it's not like an extensive like workbook, workbook, but it would do finish all the requirements for that badge if they chose to do it uh, by themselves. So now with the new format, that is the way that we are going forward. So, and we'll probably take that same concept, print the workbook, put in our badge bag, put all the materials in there and still go. The workbook was just designed to uh, for do it yourself with at home activities. It's the same type of crafts and that you would do in a regular meeting, but maybe more simplified or a craft that can be supplied in materials that won't be costly. <laughs> I was trying to find one, but <laughs> I'm so organized, I don't know where I placed it. <laughs> I love it. You have inspired me. You're taking organization to a whole other level. Now I want to start going and getting stuff <laughs> like right this second. Um, like I've been, like I said, I'm an admin all my life. So creating anything on Word, Excel, PowerPoint just comes very natural to me, comes very easily. So I can, you need something, bam, there's a form for it. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, and you can turn them down forms, so fillable forms, we have a Adobe Reader. So um, if you create something that's going to be just basic and generic, you can always have it and, and it'll be always available for you. So, and you can send it to other people. So 